Well, good morning, Dr. Gary Huber with you. Hey, I have a very important concept I want to share with you, the concept of hormesis. You are, as you sit there, whatever your beliefs are. Whatever we think is what we do. If we have a belief in a certain construct, if we believe that exercise is horrible and I don't like it, then I'm not going to do it. I want to alter your beliefs a little bit. I want to get in your brain and maybe adjust what you think about discomfort because hormesis, this is a process. If I take the human condition and I put it in duress, I stress it, right? In a healthy way, I stress it with exercise or cold exposure. Guess what? The body comes back stronger. When we expose the body to stress, it cleans up its act. It gets younger in the sense that the cells themselves become more sensitive to insulin. They clean up damaged organelles and damaged proteins. If I don't give my body calories for a while, guess what? The cells have to get more efficient. So the process of hormesis simply means I'm going to stress my body for a short period of time and it's going to come back with a younger physiology. When we do that, the payoff is huge. We see blood sugars drop, blood pressure drops. We typically burn fat more easily which means we get leaner. We can make more energy. The mitochondria work better. The immune system is stronger. We age more slowly and our youthful physiology rebounds. We can actually make the cell behave in a younger fashion. So if we put ourselves in states of discomfort, look at this guy sitting right below me here. He's sitting in his chair. He's comfortable. He's got a little belly on him. He's drinking his beverage. He's comfortable. And I'm not saying you should live in a concentration camp and be miserable, but if we spend all of our time in comfort and we never stress our physiology, we're going to get old fast. If we wanna stay young, we have to leave our comfort zone. We have to leave our comfort zone, we have to go exercise. We have to have cold and heat exposure, or caloric restriction. These three things, I'm gonna talk about each one of those in the coming weeks or in the next couple of weeks. Each one of those three things stimulates our body to have a younger physiology. You're hugely beneficial. And all I want you to do is get comfortable with the idea of being in discomfort. Intermittent fasting, we'll talk about that. It's 12 to 16 hours a day that I'm just not eating. Doing a 24-hour fast, it's not that bad. And if you're, if you're never done one, then I want to encourage you to try it once. Cold exposure, 15 to 20 minutes. Walking outside when it's 30 degrees and shorts and a t-shirt. Heat exposure, getting in a sauna. Exercise, and really intense exercise like high-intensity intervals. These are great ways of creating hormesis, putting the body in a stress state so it comes back younger. And listen, the rewards of comfort are sweetest when we're coming in from the cold, right? There, it's wonderfully rewarding to rest in the evening and watch your show when you've had a good workout that day. So I just want to change your thinking a little bit. Don't be afraid of discomfort. Learn to love discomfort. Learn that when you do that, when you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, your body is going to get younger. And if we don't, we are gonna age really fast, all right? If you're not a patient of ours, call our office, get connected. If you are, reach out to me by email, follow us on our website and Instagram. We have a new website page, a lot of good stuff there, and certainly follow like this video on YouTube. Anyhow, I hope this is helpful. Think about how you wanna create some hormesis for yourself today, all right? Take care.